First of all, thank you for joining us. Pleasure. Nice to be here. I'm sorry to hear about what's happened to you. Yeah. Can you give us a summary of what did you do? Yeah, well, quickly. Um, obviously, I had this account for 17 years, and YBS had been a very good provider of you know, managing my money for that long period. And um, I, I just uh, before June started, they, they, YBS have always been sending stuff out to their members saying, give us your feedback. How are we doing? Right. We want to hear from you and this kind of stuff. So uh, just before June kicked off, uh, it was noticeable that they were going to push Pride, the Pride LG. LGBTQ thing yep. for the month of June. So I thought, well, okay, I'll give them some feedback. And so that's what I did. I wrote in there on their portal, just a couple of paragraphs. It really wasn't a very substantial thing saying really two points. One was, uh, is this a real, isn't this a bit of a waste of your energies? Because primarily you're there to manage money, mm. not do social engineering. And then secondly, I, as a minister in the church, have serious ethical problems with the transsexual agenda. Right. And that's that one particular thing, and particularly transsexual uh, agenda uh, basically impacting children. Yeah. And they're wanting to have access to children. I gave actually a little link clip to uh, the news reports about uh, Drag Queen Story Hour, which has been going on in America and is going on, unfortunately, a bit in this country too. Um, just to kind of reference point that. And I, I thought really, they're almost certainly the customer relations department will bin it, you know, just ignore that. I, I thought maybe if they've got a hundred other similar questions like this from their members, they might think, oh, well, perhaps, you know, perhaps there's something in this. Perhaps we shouldn't push this gay pride stuff so much. Um, so I heard nothing until last week. And then I got a, a rather surprising letter from them saying rather extreme things like uh, the relationship between us has irrevocably broken down. I thought, oh, really? <laughs> this is the first time I've heard about it on this letter. And um, so we're going to close your account. End of story. You've got 14 days to take the money out of the account, and that's it. Uh, so that's where we are now. Scandalous. So you protested very politely. They disagreed Indeed. with your stance and said they could no longer work with you. Your relationship was broken beyond repair. That's right. But we, ha we know that people that are murderers, rapists, and, and pedophiles have bank accounts. Really? You know, lots yeah, of yeah. terrible people have bank accounts. You just happen to have conservative views on sexual ethics. Yeah, seems like it. Right, and you, you think that's beyond the pale for, for a bank? <laughs> well, I don't think so. I say, you know, if, as somebody said to me, if they're going to be that picky about um, the values and worldview of their customers, of their three million customers or what they have, um, they weren't going to end up with very many left. You know, people are going to leave, because that's the whole thing about genuine diversity, the diversity of opinion. We all have different views and we're allowed to express them. This is Britain. So how does that work practically? You've had a two-week period to move your money to another bank. Well, I haven't moved it yet. Right. The two-week period finishes on Thursday, I think, next week. Um, so uh, one of the reasons I went and talked to a journalist at the Times yesterday was to flag this up. Yeah. I mean, I suppose what I would like, really, from YBS would just be an apology. And I hope that they wouldn't do it again. I hope that they wouldn't actually uh, bully and intimidate anyone else that has a different opinion to themselves. Because, Richard, the thing I worry about is that Coots, NatWest, Metro, Tide, First Direct, PayPal, and the Yorkshire Building Society have all been kicking people out that don't subscribe to the LGBTQ agenda. Really? Okay. I can't quite get my head around the idea that a bank needs to have a set of values rather than just managing money. And if it does yes. have a set of values, why are they around sexual ethics? Yeah, well, I tend to agree with you. They're not there for social engineering. That's not their purpose in life, is it? Right. Yeah. And I noticed that they said to you, they have zero tolerance against dis discrimination. Yeah. Now, did you discriminate against anybody? No, not at all. Nothing personal in it. It was, it, as I say, I mentioned the, the financial side, waste, use your time more constructively, managing money. And then the concern I have from a Christian perspective about particularly some, only some, transsexuals wanting to have access to children. So a disagreement is not discrimination. No, it isn't at all. Right. So what do you recommend people do? Well, it'd be quite good if they put a bit of a pushback to uh, maybe the chairman and the CEO of Yorkshire Building Society and say, uh, don't go down this rabbit hole of a particular worldview, a particular set of values, because you're going to alienate a lot of customers.